Good evening. Bring this meeting to order. Quorum from the Lake Boone Commission being present, April 25, 2018. <coughs> uh, first item on the agenda, as usual, public comment. We usually ask that if that relates to something other than what might be on the agenda tonight. Uh, any general comments or questions we can't uh, deliberate on anything or take any action on any comments, but we can take note of them. Is there anything anybody wishes to bring to our attention? Yes, sir. Uh, your name and we're being televised for future, recorded for future. Todd Billings, 33 Temple Avenue, Hudson. Thank you. Um, I don't know if the people of Hudson are aware uh, that the next town meeting that's coming up, there is going to be Article 27. Uh, it is going to be changing a lot of rules for lakefront property, riverfront property, wetland property, anybody that even lives on a vernal pool. Um, they're going to be changing the distance from what you can do on your property from 25 to 100 feet set back. Now there'll be, they say, things are uh, grandfathered. However, going forward, if you want to put a shed, if you want to put a permanent structure, if you want to do anything within that 100 feet, uh, if you think it's hard now getting that permit, wait until this one goes into effect. Ask if the board's aware of it. Um, first off, is the board aware of it? So you're talking about the wet lodge protection bylaw changes that they're proposing in Hudson? Yes. Um, I'm aware of it. I'm not up to speed on it. And it's not it has anything to do with our jurisdiction. No, no, it doesn't. What so. I was going to ask was that uh, uh, David Gray, I think, is the one that handles the um, announcement. Well, not yep. announcements. Yes. Yep. The, the web yes. page. Yes. Yep. The listserv. Um, listserv. Uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe we could get him to uh, make an announcement, at least, <clears throat> to the listserv. Mm -hmm for the people that at least live in Hudson mm -hmm. to go to the town meeting mm -hmm. and uh, you know, read up on it and mm -hmm. vote on it. I would just note that for comparison purposes, Hud Stowe has had a very robust mm -hmm. uh, watershed protection plan for years and we have had a hundred foot buffer for years so we're used to it but uh, I can see where it would make a difference to some people. How, when, when is the meeting? You, you gotta know? be careful. It's not the hundred foot buffer they're gonna change. It's well, it, I don't it, know. There, no. there are other things. The next town meetings when? I think it's is May seventh. It May same day as May seventh. May seventh. Yes. Always is May seventh. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the one other thing that um, I want to call attention to uh, <coughs> is that this does mention <coughs> dams and uh, the repair of. I don't know how that's going to affect how this new regulation is going doesn't to doesn't affect, affect any our thing. dam at the lake because the town of Stowe owns that and we'll be just, we'll be having an item on that. Okay, okay. And um, th there is, in my estimation, in this, and this is why I want people of Hudson aware of it and to read it, uh, some of the wording in this is arbitrary. Uh, it was shot down last time. Uh, I hope it's shot down again because it. It, it has wording such as, in the opinion of. Uh, <laughs> it's not hard facts. So Todd, what, um, LBA also has a website. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. Yes, so sir. in fact, we have an LBA person here right now. I don't know. So um, it would be good for LBA to put that on their website. Okay. All right. Maybe Dave can help you with that. All right. Up there, just walk in. So yeah, so. Well, <laughs> you can catch them up. I'll brief you later. Offline. <laughs> offline. Thank you. Say. Okay. Uh, in the back? Yeah. Yeah, Dick Cummings, uh, 22 days yeah. around Stowe, so not anywhere near as uh, monumental as that discussion, I think. But I'm just wondering if, if the board could make more of an effort to get in the, the uh, you know, the listing for the LBC meeting soon enough that it could be in the newspaper because I know it's not required, but it's really hard for a lot of people to get to town hall to check regularly. So if it could be put in soon enough that it could make the local paper the week before, that would be great. Have you read the LBA uh, 
I, I'm not. My wife may be. Yeah, because th that's the most reliable way to, to okay. for everybody to get it. If, if you're not on Dave Gray's uh, list. Well, I, I mean, it's nice if there's a number of ways, because not everybody gets it all ways. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it is nice when it's in the paper. So, and just so you know, once now, once we have the agenda, actually, you know, once it's being sent out to be posted, it, I am posting it on the, the town site. So it's on the calendar. Um, and also on the LBC part of the site, so. Yeah, I think the town's beefed up their website. It's, it's getting, yeah, right. it's getting a little better. So th right. it is in both those Thanks. places. Because that was posted yeah. last last week, right? You mm, whatever day you sent it, yeah. up, they posted Thursday, it. Yep. Thursday, something yep. last week. <coughs> okay, all right, noted. Thank you. What's I have just a quick question. Yes. So for for point Can of you clarity, identify yourself, please? Sorry. We're on TV. Can you identify yourself? Oh, uh, Chuck Konowich, 33 Temple Ave. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, so, so point of clarity, the LBC will meet meets at the town hall where the LBA would be meeting at the wetland, the wildlife refuge. So that's sort well, of First off, this is, this is the town building. It's the town hall is the building across the street. We, we get, we, we're not very original here in Stowe. We, that was the original town hall. Okay. They kept it for clarity. They call this the town building. But this is the normal spot where where the uh, LBC meets. LBC. The Lake Boone Association is a private civic organization, and Dave, uh, Dave, for the last five years, six years, we've, or more, years. we've met over at the, uh, the wild. They wild. have met at the wildlife mm -hmm. refuge. So that's how you can tell one from the other. Okay. Well, that's one way. <laughs> or LBC <laughs> versus LBA. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes. You had a chair with him. I'm fine with that. Motion to approve the minutes as this is submitted. Uh, I'll just, just for, since, since you wrote oh. them, I'll second it. Okay. Um, as, as you pointed out, one action or another that we'll have to end up later. So, on the rules, but that's just. <coughs> The history of it. So, uh, I'm just commenting to him. Mm -hmm. But um, is there any any questions or comments? If not, no. I'll approve. All in favor, say aye. 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 It's unanimous. Thank you. Okay. Um, the main impetus for this meeting tonight, actually, I gave. I think I've given you copies of the letter. Yeah, the creation. My department. <coughs> uh, there's a provision in our bylaws, the Lake Boone Commission bylaws, um, that say <coughs> it actually goes way back, probably the, the, when the commission was first established in the 1940s. Lake Boone was a bustling place. I think that they were concerned that <coughs> any number of people could open shop and start renting boats, rowboats, canoes, whatever. So it goes way back to those those days, but it still requires that anyone, any person, or in this case an entity, uh, wanting to rent boats to the public, must get a, uh, it's, a it's it's crazy license d d uh, determination, but by the board of selectmen of Stowe, with the approval of the Lake Boone Commission. Uh, this came to our attention a few years ago when the uh, Recreation Commission had started a practice of, well, of doing this without being aware of this requirement. Uh, every year since then, they have come to us uh, in advance of the voting season with a request because it can only be granted for a one-year period. So uh, this letter just says that uh, they're going to be uh, Rent, currently have three canoes, six kayaks, and a bike boat. Uh, and with their growth of the summer program, they would like to uh, consider the following, and allow to, uh, per well, we don't have to allow them to purchase, they will do that, but they want to get two additional canoes next year, meaning this boating season, a total of five. And they're also going to have a, a paddle board, which will be new. Uh, and for rent when not in use by our lifeguards, a camp program. 
so they are asking for our uh, recommendation to be conveyed to the selectmen in advance of the voting season. Uh, so that, that uh, they can comply with the letter of the law. So we had talked a little bit about this in one of the other meetings about whether we would want to them to, to as part of their program to make sure that certain rules are understood by the people that are renting. Mm -hmm. Do we have any idea at this point if they're like signing anything or anything that would let us know that in fact these people do know the rules of the lake, you know, the key rules of boating, the life jackets, all of that stuff? Most of the, most of the boating regulations apply to power boats yep. as opposed to, well, canoes and stuff in the uh, free season, but during their rental season, yep. it's, it, it's not applicable. Uh, for, for the, some, some of those are not. Uh, but I, I think if you would like to, you know, considering this, if you want to uh, move to approve it conditional on uh, the recreation director being advised to make sure that they look into <coughs> this, get the get the proper permits, uh, the proper information to them. I can talk to her about that to cover that if that is an action item, uh, rather than just send the letter and say, yeah, you're okay to go. And Because uh, there was some concern raised in public comment or at some point that people felt like some of the, the people in those boats were a bit of a menace at times on the lake. So just I'm just reflecting what we heard from right. comment. Oh, that's a good point to be conveyed to them. Is uh, she asking, last year they asked for two stand-up paddle boards. Says one. <coughs> well, I have last year's letter here if you guys haven't seen it. And we did we did issue a permit last year as well, the selectmen did. Um, looking, I thought I had a copy of that with me, they don't have that one. <coughs> Well, last year they said they were going to have a total of six canoes, and now they said we're going to get one more and they have a total of five. <laughs> <laughs> we currently have three. Last year it says we have three. Well, we're going to get a canoe next year, which will give us four. Over the next, over the next some years they would give us additional ones. That's what it was. So I guess they haven't. Um, so I would say their letter it's conditioned on five for this year. Well, I think uh, what we did last year is, um, Chris, what you said is is good, but I think what we, um, the permit, I have a copy of the permit for the selectman issue as well. Um, I don't know if you guys seen this. It's pretty generic, I think. It's I very generic, but that's, I'm pretty sure, what the selectman gave them. You being a selectman might remember differently, but as far as I remember, that's all we did. Um, so, so yeah, we did this in June last year. We, they, they got it to us late. They got it to us late last year. They yeah. got it to us on time this year. Was nice. yeah. As a wording, but to just be to, to, to comply with good voting procedures, because a lot of it is not the law so much as common sense. Mm -hmm. But if you if you if you're seeing a, a powerful activity, try to stay out of the out of the line of fire. I know that they have the right of way, but uh, we always try to emphasize common sense in in the power boats. I think it, it, it's incumbent upon them to try to instill that. It's difficult because they have somebody comes in and right run, rents a canoe for one hour, mm -hmm. and then they're gone. Right. Uh, so I will kind of inquire as to what kind of training they're doing and uh, whether they keep any records of, of that. So are you making a motion? No, I'm, oh. I, I'm suggesting okay. a motion which could <laughs> okay. in, incorporate those elements. Dave, you have a question? Um, just a concern. Um, is there any kind of restrictions on time, timings, you know, like the peak time that you could limit their um, ability to use it? Because just like you're saying, there are people that come in for an hour and they don't know. They just kind of want to get out and commit. You don't want to restrict them because 
Well, I think I think the restriction would be the only <coughs> hours they can do it are the hours that the beach is in operation when they have beach checkers. Uh, so it isn't it, or like a Saturday at peak time when you know I as a taxpayer paying 25 percent more just to live on the water. You know we like to get out and use it, and you can't when there's that many people <coughs> you know, well, on the lake, and then you're introducing these other people that aren't familiar with the kind of you know the, the rules that we kind of follow on the lake. It's 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 difficult um, at best during peak times. Well, um, you know, and, and, and then we're going to be asked. It's to also difficult other. because we don't have the power to enforce anything. We would have to go through the police. If, if well, it, is it a restriction on the permit you can give to the rec commission? That's what I'm asking. We have not done so in the past. Um, I, I think that the that practice varies considerably. So when people may be showing up, I doubt that. There's many times when all of their vehicles, uh, their vessels are re rented at the same time. Uh, and you've got, it's kind of a hard argument to make when you've got the whole first basin uh, that people are coming in for that camp program. I mean, for the, uh, and most of those people are still residents, by the way. Uh, you have to, they're very limited out of town uh, passes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, during the week when, Nobody's around. Mm. It's typically not probably not going to be an issue. It's like well, it's Sunday it's afternoons from two to yeah. six. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> but I, I I I think that that goes beyond the scope of what we can do now. I can talk to her about about that. Well, it doesn't go beyond the scope of what we can recommend. Okay. Well, we can we can simply recommend that they run their rental program Monday through Friday plus Sunday afternoon. He's got a good point. When they get out there, when they get all those boats rented, they pretty much take over the lake. <coughs> they don't know what they're doing. They just get out there. Well, I think if we wanted to do that, we should probably give them the opportunity to be heard on this rather than, because we have not imposed that in the three years that we've done it. And it would be, it wouldn't be fair to them to, to just to say, because a question came up tonight, we're changing the practice that we've done for the past several years without giving them a chance to comment on. Andy? Yeah, uh, Andy Pollock, 16 Lyman Hudson. One thing I was thinking was that <clears throat> what can be difficult is, let's just say you, you had something like that, and it's a Saturday, and people want to rent boats, and there's literally nobody on the water. That can happen. It, you know, sometimes there's nobody out there. Mm -hmm. And so then it's going to seem like, what, you know, why can't I rent a boat? I mean, there's nobody there. So maybe your recommendation could be something to the effect that the uh, staff use their best judgment about limiting how many boats go out when they can see that there are a ton of boats out there. Well, that's a, a step beyond where we are now without <laughs> arbitrarily <coughs> limiting it. That's right. That's, thanks for the suggestion. So since we have time on this, and since we have some additional comments from the public on this, maybe what we should do is just ask Laura to come in and talk to us and we can talk about this and then make our recommendation. I mean, I'm fine with, with putting a time limit on it. Um, but I'd li I would like to, yeah, okay, so let's, let's if, if everybody's agreeable, we'll pull this over and try to get meeting for well, we, we will be meeting again before the voting season starts. They don't start till school gets out anyway. That's for their public beach offerings. So, um, so with the board's the commission's concurrence, I'll just hold this over and and I'll get to uh, Laura Greeno shortly and see if we can get get some answers to some of these questions and give them a chance to come in. And and discuss it with us. Do we need a, do you need a motion for that? You can just do no, it. No, we think we can. Okay. We just so we're going to table this one until we talk to Laura. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
sure that Dave comments. to other people that live on the first basin as well as just Dave. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Do you, uh, Chris, mm -hmm. would you like a copy for, for what we did last year? Um, I'm sure it's in last year's records, right? It should be. Yeah. So I don't think. The one that went to the select one? Um, mm -hmm. this one. Well, that was in, in, um, the records will be the actual permit that was issued. <coughs> and this was the sample that they gave us that we then voted on. So um, that's what happened last time. Okay. All right. Uh, table that one. Uh, I'll ask for the record. Uh, do we have any bills for payment? Not yet for me. Since we don't spend money. <laughs> we don't spend <laughs> you spend. You have to spend, sir. <clears throat> when we have it, you would. Do. I'll talk about that when we do yeah, it right. a little further down. Um, next steps for bylaw revision work. Last time we met, and the minutes reflect that uh, I was going to look into. Um, having input in a generalized fashion from uh, Division of Law Enforcement going through uh, uh, Captain Walker, who was the head of the agency, the, the, law, the voting division that came to our informational meeting two years ago now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I, was, I, I was kind of warned that it would be difficult to do, and I, was, I thought I could do it, but I can't. Yeah. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> uh, I, uh, she, I guess given her accessibility for that meeting, I thought uh, that it might be something, not, not, not asking for commas and, 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 and actual writing, but just to give us some generic assistance. Um, I was in contact <coughs> briefly with uh, Mike Solisi, and then I talked. Uh, I did talk to Captain Walker, and uh, and she said that given the, the 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 workload that they have and the manpower that they have or don't have, uh, it's impractical for them to to get involved at that level at that stage. Uh, so basically, what they're saying is, we know go back to what we knew we had to do in the event we were going to go ahead and, and change the rules. Uh, go ahead and change, the, change them, and uh, then they will comment on them. Uh, so we're kind of back to square one on that, uh, which then leads me to, just to refresh my own memory from the last, uh, so, which helps to have the minutes from that meeting. Um, we confirmed that the timing wasn't right to do anything this voting season. That's why we didn't you know, try to ramp up any activity. Uh, Conray reiterated his desire to simplify the rules, focus on the ones that are unique to our laws. Uh, my reference to DEP, and I've reported on that phone call. And this, this I think, these two questions these next two bullets on the minutes kind of focus, I think, where we should be, where we, where we need to be as a limitation. Of. Chris asked the other commissions whether we now want to work on a draft of simplified rules versus modification of the existing. This is being taken under consideration. Uh, the action item was Conrad's going to draft a simplified version for a future meeting. Uh, she provided an updated uh, modification, which is this document now, uh, that we, the most recent one that we have. 
no, actually, this was talking to the work plan itself. Oh, the plan. So our yep. project plan, which yep. we obviously at this point, none of the, the dates or anything no, are. No, But that was, was updated just to reflect so our going in that So I point. guess the, the floor is open. I'm just going to set the table for where we left off last time. Um, I did do a simplified draft. I don't have it with me originally, but I think it left out a few things. You know, my point is that if it's covered by 90B, we don't need to do it. And we should just be in our looking at what's unique to Lake Boom, which is what, I mean, I, I won't get it right right now because I haven't got it in front of me, but certainly quiet time. Um, headway speed only after dark is unique to us. Um, yeah, no, that's, that's not the one I'm thinking of. I, I did another one. I should have brought it earlier. Um, so I guess in answer to your, your question, Chris, it, it's, it, would <clears throat> it seems to indicate less is more, mm -hmm. and what you suggested in there is probably what the way we ought to be going. Now, obviously on the, on the non-voting rules, which is a different process entirely, and I don't think it, that we don't have a lot on those anyway, but for the sake of discussion, I think here probably most people are interested in what we might be doing on voting rights. Um, and it, I, what I took you to mean the last time basically was saying it's about we put in our document that we hand out that it's something to the effect of it's, it's the voters, the owners, and operators' you know, responsibility to know and abide by. Chapter 90B regulations, uh, and they they are too voluminous to front here, but it's your responsibility to do it. And then, just anything else that we wanted, to, we had a couple that we thought were archaic and wanted to remove. But beyond that, uh, it would only be a, a bullets about the uh, individual exceptions, which are can be more restrictive, but not not less. Well, I can. I'm sure I have electronic copies, and um, I can know it all. I just didn't see the correct right there, and I apologize. So remember the Fort Meadow rules we mm -hmm. looked at? Yeah. Remember the preamble they put in front of theirs, mm -hmm. which basically said what you just said? Yep. And then, you know, use a preamble like that to the rules, and then, and then um, try to look at the ones that are, are um, oh, you have it. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one copy of this. That's why I probably gave it to you guys. Yeah, yeah we, I have that. I don't have it with me here. But, yes. Um, very similar to what they did, but, you know, ADD is a contagious disease we all have, so people don't look, if it's too complicated, they just don't pay attention to it. Because they have some of the same things that we had uh, in there about the but the opening in the ice mm. uh, and and the boating equipment, uh, mufflers and everything, those are archaic. And, uh, They're all archaic. Uh, now. Um, if it's covered by 90B, we shouldn't be touching. So why don't we, um, first of all, get, get out of order a little bit here. If you get data next meeting, this is kind of number 10 on your agenda. Um, we need We need to do... I'm willing to, in the next couple of weeks, come up with a better summary. Um, we can get lower green into the next couple of weeks. I don't mind meeting sooner now, yeah. this time of year. But can you, are you su suggesting that you can do that if we set a meeting date, say three weeks from today, yeah. hypothetically, that we could have that out to yeah. us two weeks ahead? Yeah. I mean, I've got one, a, one week ahead of the meeting. I did one already. I can't, it wasn't complete enough. So I can basically take the Fort Mental stuff and the one I did earlier and merge them. And I can send them to you guys. You can't comment on them, right. but you can send them. Right, send them. We yeah. can then come and with then our comments. Come prepared to comment. Yeah. 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 So I apologize. I, I should have done that. I, I have all the stuff at home. I, <clears throat> all right. Well, if that approach is agreeable, mm -hmm. I fine. think it uh, will be. 
we will get back, we'll come back to the data in the next meeting. We'll do something in that general time frame when we get down there. Um, but I think if you start from this document, the work, some of the ones we were talking about. I'll take a look again. I need to refresh it. Yeah. <coughs> yes, Andy. Oh, no, I don't. No, if somebody can't. He's, he's stretching. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we can go. Okay. Andy. Yep, next. So, um, <laughs> so. Go ahead, anyone. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay. Um, well, first of all, um, I've spoken with Kara, uh, who does the weed control for solitude for, for us. Um, and that's also true this year, that was last year. I spoke with Kara and her current plan is to do first survey on Tuesday, May 1st. Next week. Yeah. yeah. Next okay. week already? Yes, and Tuesday. Yeah, and she's gonna be, she was gonna be, I think, emailing you, Conray, about mm -hmm. whether or not she can use the same launch. She can. Okay. And, um, <coughs> The uh, first treatment will probably be in late May. Is that consistent with what they did last year? Earlier. Yeah. Is it a little earlier? Yeah. Last year they you know it's about right? It's about right. Yeah, it was early May and late May. Yeah. And this is the heavier... No, this is the third year of the... This is the third year. Right. Right. This right. is the third year. This is the last year of the current contract. And... Um, so, I mean, they'll probably be doing, um, you know, unless they see something that they don't expect in the survey on May 1st, they're probably going to be doing, you know, treatment in Basin 3 and 4. It was, it was pretty limited in Basin 3 last year. Um, yeah. But, but yeah. there was pretty good results, too. I mean, yeah, it was very good results. Uh, there, there were some isolated clumps mm -hmm. of plants and whether they're yeah. visible enough now this time of year. I guess mm -hmm. that's their business to make sure that they find them. Right. Uh, but uh, and the only other thing, I mean, so that's, that's really all there is to say right now, um, except one thing was when you talked about um, we current bills. And we've got to get a new contract in place, too. Yeah, which, um, right. And there's, but uh, you don't know yet. Um, I mean, we don't have to really do that until later. That's I mean, right. you had to, right, I mean, I provided the numbers um, if it had to get into uh, some town meeting stuff. Uh, we, we got the budgetary numbers. I, I have a copy of that right here for a, a potential three-year program starting 2019. And, um, the, yeah, starting 2019, yeah. season, next season. Yep. And um, I mean, it's basically similar. It's up a little bit. Not much. It's 40 some. 41 for the first year. Yeah. And then the subsequent years are 15, uh, 15 and a half. Yeah. Whereas in the current one, it, uh, it was 14.6. So it went up about $1,000. And that's. On the, the follow up years. That's why we get that schedule finally advanced so that we're not bumping up against wait until July 1st to treat them. Well, but so but remember, so the, you know, the first payment is usually um, due May 3rd. Yeah, but that's, that's why the money is in the budget. Next so Thursday. Be there. That's next Thursday. Right. So yep. do we have a bill yet yeah. for it? Be, huh? We don't have a bill yet for it. No. You may not. Right, you may not have, we have not it. So they'll bill they us around then. Mm. They don't come to okay. me, but it, it's going to be for uh, 70, uh, the bill? 70, 7312 dollars and 50 cents. So we, if that bill comes in in the next two weeks, we'll approve it. And, and typically we, and then the, yeah. because that's um, more article money and not budget money, you carry it over. We, you can carry it over, but what we do is we approve it here and then one-third goes to Hudson, two-thirds goes to Stowe. Right. Hudson pays directly and Stowe pays directly. Right. Right. So that's another good reason probably to have the meeting in two weeks. But you you went through this last time because they're a sole, sole source provider. Yep. Um, it's still true. It's still true. Do we need any documentation of that? It was, was that part of what you did last time? Yeah. 
Uh, well, it was three years ago. Yeah. But there was a, something almost three years for ago. the record. I mean, you you send them. I, I did. I, I did some sort of write up that I sent so that the, indicated all, all the research that I did and how much time I spent. Yeah. And, really, and really what I found enough. trying to find alternatives, which was big zero. Yeah. And Bill Wrigley has that, and he's the contracting officer, so he's got the sole source stuff, and nothing's changed. So. You know, we can approve it, but he has to, he's the contracting officer eventually. Yeah. But I guess we, we need to wait to approve the contract until we make sure that the, we know the money passes town meeting. <laughs> it's nice to have the money, yeah. Right. But the town meeting is a week. Yeah. So by the time we meet the town meeting, we'll be in our rear view mirror. But because it's so sourced, um, I think the bidding process is a lot simpler. <laughs> It's not like before we had all those time time constraints and how many you know you had to send it out to three people and you had to, all those comic theories, et cetera. The rules change on sole sourcing. It's actually not easy for us. Okay. So, all right. So what I heard is just to make sure I hear my got my ears on for straight tonight. Um, We'll, um, we'll wait till after town meetings. The two towns should approve the money. Once we have the money in place, we'll start the process of getting a new contract in place right. for next season. And what, what did you say the treatment estimate was? For the new contract? No, this year. 14,700. Oh, no. 14,625. That was off. And what was the schedule? Surveys May 1 and? Right now, survey May 1 and... Um, Treatment late May. Oh, late May. Late May. She said it's like third, third, like next to last week or last week of May. Do you know if, um, if I get the question out correctly, I can't remember the answer to this. So if we're getting a lot of rain and a lot of inflow to the lake, does that affect when you want to treat? Because they need to keep the, um, the Floridian levels up to 20 parts per billion to be able to have effect because we don't have a lot of water flow through the lake anyway. No, flushing rate. Yeah. <laughs> Once every four years. <laughs> it's better now since we've been draining it. I mean, it's part of the, I, I, I can't answer your question about the science, but I know that it's it, it's in the contract that they're supposed to monitor yeah. the percentage. No. As the water's as high now as it will ever be, <laughs> unless we get the thousand-year flood. Right. Don't even think it. Yeah, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dave Gray is, by the way, has been doing uh, good work on that. I guess he's sending it to everybody. Mm -hmm. I think he does it just about weekly. Yep. Uh, it was 3.23. He's getting pretty exact because I, I looked at it a couple of days before I got that email, and I said, oh, it's about 3.2. <laughs> and you, you got ripples in there. But I don't know how you get down to point the, the three decimal, but, but uh, those go to the Conservation Commission as well mm -hmm. for their records. Okay, so that's on track. That's good. Uh, dam repair status uh, is on track. Um, as I mentioned, another gentleman before, Town Stowe owns the dam. Uh, therefore, we own uh, the responsibility for maintaining it. Just a little background of what, about a year and a half ago, uh, they have been doing. There is a office, a state office of dam safety. They inspect every private and public dam in the state. Uh, for public safety implications and found significant uh, concerns. They don't identify the, the problems. It's, that's part of what they say to the towns. You have to appropriate the money to do the engineering to determine the scope of the problem. Report that back to us in an engineering form, not just, gee, we think this, you know, the visual observations has to be based on, on, on some engineering work. And then they will define the scope of the repair work uh, for which the town will then have to pony up the money. Uh, but uh, Article 57 of our warrant, uh, Stowe's warrant, uh, to be acted on on 
May 15. It says to see if the town will vote to appropriate and transfer the sum of $29,000 uh, for free cash uh, for the purpose of paying professional engineering services necessary to develop the assessment and evaluation safety reports required by submittal to the Mass Department of Conservation and Recreation. Part of that has already been spent. It was advanced from the Highway Department funding. Uh, so there's additional uh, work to wrap up that, uh, that engineering report. Uh, I don't have the exact date, but it's, it's due in the next, uh, I think in the next six weeks, two months. Uh, and then <coughs> it'll be up to the state to evaluate uh, what, the, what they have seen and come back to the town. The, the, to the town administrator and uh, it's very likely that uh, unlike last year town of Stowe will very likely have a, a fall town meeting it's almost guaranteed last year for the first time several years we didn't but I would anticipate depending on the, on the state's reaction to the engineering data that they would, they we might very well have something at this at the upcoming fall town meeting to come up with the actual implementation money. I mean, good thing we don't have to do it. <laughs> we don't have to come up with it. Um, I w last night at the selectmen's meeting, uh, the board reviews the annual articles uh, and cherry picks <laughs> certain articles to take a position on as opposed to the board doesn't take positions on 60 articles um, but this one was one that I brought to the board's attention and uh, I said just because I think it's important that if, if someone gets up at town meeting and says why are we spending twenty nine thousand dollars on Lake Bloom we don't you know the same sort of thing we used to get on the on the weed control money even for less money than that um, that, uh, as Dave pointed out, you know, we all pay a lot of taxes to have a lake in our yard. And the state has a very big hammer in this. Uh, anybody that, private owned, dam owner, or a municipal that ignores, says we can't do it or we won't do it, uh, the state has a very simple explanation. Okay, until you do it, uh, breach the dam, take all the water out of it because we don't want the dam letting go and flooding, having a neo molasses day flood wiping out Maynard. Uh, so it, it's, it's, it's a not inconsequential matter, but it is being handled in good hands by our town administrator. Uh, he keeps the board advised on the process and I'm fully, in, I, I would be very surprised if there was any difficulty getting that warrant article passed. But we did take a position five to nothing in favor of it, uh, and we will s so state at the town meeting. Um, anybody have any? Okay. To May fifteenth, you said, right? Yeah, that's the same date as mm -hmm. your town meeting too. Yeah, always. Oh, well, yours is the seventh. Seventh. We're seventh this year. No, I'm. Sorry. No, the election is the 15th. I'm sorry. Yeah, May 7th. I was going to say something. Yeah, our election's right. a week later. But they're always the same. So it is next week, yep. Yeah. in this region seems to. Somehow Hudson manages to get its, its business done almost always, one night. Stow, you go <laughs> two, three, uh, depending on what we're talking about. We have uh, some items that might take up some time this year. So I'm sure it'll go at least two nights. Uh, but at any rate, within the time frame we were talking earlier, we should we will have the results of actions of so you can just let so us know. And I that, that passes in Hudson as well. Yes. Real quick question. Um, the state will do the state will pay attention more to a dam than it will a bridge. Now, I'm just worried about them not the different divisions. The dam. You know, doing to the dam what they did to Route 62. The difference is, is it's a, the state comes up with the money for the bridge. That's the bottleneck because they have to get uh, federal money 
funneled down through it. And, and Gleasondale Bridge uh, is, is on an expedited track to be completed in 2021 or something Thank like you. that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in, in that case, they announce what the problem is, they announce what the fix is, and they come up with the money. That's what the delay is to do the engineering studies and, and, and come up with the, the federal pass-through funds. Uh, so uh, this one is more in our own control, and, and you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> in your taxes, we do. The rest of us are installed, and it's still quite steadily. So, yeah, one, one, well, you luck out also because you pay about two thirds of the tax rate that we do in stuff. It's for similar properties. So, that's just an aside. Uh, any, any other questions on the, the dam issue? Nope. I mean, I can't see any, uh, to a layperson, I don't see any difference in it. I, I drive over there a lot. I get out and I look at the gauge and I look at the thing. It's always been wet on the downhill side of the thing. Uh, I don't see any it's there, politics, and uh, well, it's 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 CYA too. Yeah, exactly, uh, that they will err greatly on the side of, of overreacting rather than have some disaster pinned on. Yeah, but uh, but it, it 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 it's good business. I mean, it, it, that that they they do it, and uh, I'm sorry we have to pay for it, but that's the price of doing business on the lake. One, one more quick question, if yes. I may. When they do this, will there be a drop in lake level when they're doing it, or will it remain constant? I have I have not had any indication that it will require that. I think in the past what they've done is is, is mostly on the. So, <coughs> how many years ago was it they put that riprap in? Fifteen a long time now? ago. But there was some. It, there was a lot of tree growth on on the dam historically and until about 15 years ago. And one of the worst things you can do for an earth dam is grow trees on it. Because when trees, as they do, die off, the roots stay in the ground because you can't pull them out and disturb the soil. And it, it, pro it provides cracks and passageways for water to, to, to get through. And uh, so a, a good 15 years ago, I guess, they cleaned every tree off of there and they've done a good job of maintaining that. They did a lot of that riprap that's yeah. on, on the lake side of the dam. Uh, they reinforced, I think, the poured the concrete between the boards at that time, I think. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Which they shouldn't have done, but they did. But I'm, I'm sure, stay tuned because uh, uh, I will, you know, if it, if once that engineering report comes out and lays out the scope of the work that the state has, that will be made public as well. But I, I have heard nothing that they said we have to lower it substantially to do that. Remember, right now they they're not proposing any work; they're just proposing the evaluation. Yeah, right. telling us we got to do it. Right, we got to do is what they, we're doing. But the evaluation the needs to be done. Okay, you done? Yep. Uh, inventory plans, buoys, and by implication, boats. boats. Yeah. So. I was going to start with the boat um, because we can't put buoys in without a boat. The boat has been stored in the Hudson Fire House for the winter. I will get it out in the next week. Uh, i got to talk to the guys at Cabela's. I typically take it up to Cabela. They do a dewinterization on the engine and they'll go through the engine and make sure we don't have any issues with it. Um, and then uh, we'll clean it up and put it in the water and then we can put the buoys in. We have four good buoys as far as I know. Um, and uh, we probably need to buy two more. I gotta, I gotta evaluate that a little bit, but we... Um, How do you evaluate? You take them off your dock and send them in the, front <laughs> of the house and if they sink, yeah, say exactly. we get away. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, yeah. usually what I do is um, when we take them out at the end of the season, if they're sinkers, we just trash them at that point. Did you have to do that with any no, last year? I don't remember trashing any last year. Okay. So I know I got four, but I on. So I've got the ones for, for um, the one, two, and the, and the two, three narrows. Um, there's two. We don't have one off of Pine Point right now. So we probably need to buy something to put there. We used to we, we used to keep a market, but we had to try to keep the boats away from the shore. 
Did they just use an orange ball last year? We did use an orange ball and it disappeared. There's one um, across the lake from uh, myself in front of, um, just directly right across. Co Co-offs? Yeah, co-offs, yeah. For, towards the um, beach. For so that we had some ones drifted in there? Yeah, it's been there you know, for a while, I think since the ice. Huh. I'll go, when there. as soon as I get a boat in the water, I'll go take a look. Yeah. Yeah, Chris looks out, outside your house, you look towards yeah. the beach, you might yeah. be able to see it. Well, we have a, we have it in the budget. Two things in the budget. We have budget money for the buoys, chains, anchors, that good stuff, and we have money in the budget for repairing the boat. So the plan basically is retrieve the boat, take it up, put a new battery in. I put a new battery in it every couple of years because it's, we can't afford to have a dock work, um, and um, especially with the unre unreliable police boat. Our boat's a more reliable boat than the one the town has, the town still has. So, last year Lee did most of the work in our boat? Yes, for two reasons. Number one, our boat worked <laughs> reliably. Mm -hmm. um, maybe three reasons. It worked reliably, it doesn't smoke, and it wasn't full of pine pitch. Okay. The trouble with the police boat where they put it at Carthage, and especially since they haven't replaced the T-top, um, you know, that boat has not had much care that it should get. Yeah. Where our boat is, you know, there's no pitch on it, we've got a good top on it, so if it's red or if you can get out of the sun, then it's a four-stroke motor, not a two-stroke motor, it doesn't smoke and it runs. Okay, so by the time we meet next to have the boat in, have yeah. a recommendation if we make sure make sure the budget money gets approved. And should it, should well, the money's all approved, so as far as I'm... No, well, this is for next... Oh, do we I'm still have money in this year's budget that we can use? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We haven't spent much money this year. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, we put money in every year for those things. Mm -hmm. And I used to dewinterize the boat, but it, and do all the work myself. But What's involved with it other than just sticking the ears on it and starting it? Well, that's the problem. That's what I used to do. <laughs> well, what we ran into was the um, there's a water pump in the bottom of the engine, and that pump was bad, so those pumps may need to be replaced every now and then. Um, the nice thing about um, kicking up to Cabell is that they put a computer on it and they can tell us what's the status of all the parts. So basically, it's maintenance. So we'll put the computer on and the computer will say, hey, you got these problems or it's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Change the oil in it, <coughs> change the filters in it, and put it in the water. Okay. But it should have oil and filters. That engine should, should go for a few more years for us. It's an old four. We've had it a long time. Well, I have on my own boat. It's 1983. Yeah. They go. We take care of them. They last. Two stroke. They have better life. <laughs> okay. So get a report back on that one next meeting too. Which brings us down to any items of new business for. Consideration for the next agenda. So I was going to mention we got the email from Ernie Dodd about um, dock oh. registrations. So I haven't had a ta chance. I skimmed through this information, but just um, gone yesterday. Uh, yesterday, yeah, oh. yesterday, Tuesday. Um, it came from David Gray. He forwarded it on from from Ernie. So. Just uh, apparently some new licensing requirements for docks and piers, which I think we need to, to look at. <laughs> Everything new was the reason we were last new again. Been there, done that on oh, this one before. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is there was a law passed in like 18 something about uh, docks, and the original intent of the law was on rivers to stop to uh, get tide, back. tide lands. And, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, every once in a while, someone in the state says, oh, we can make some money by doing this. 
and they come up with that letter and so far nothing's ever happened. Now that doesn't mean you're not supposed to do it, but the question that you immediately ask is enforcement. Well, I haven't, I haven't seen this one, but so I think we need to read through it, understand you yeah. know, if at all it affects us. It sounds to me like it's if you're going to do work on a dock or replace a dock or whatever, not just that a no. dock is there. You're thinking no. that even existing docks... No, they want, they, what they want is a permit for every dock on the lake and they want a fee for it. Yeah, I'm not, I so. guess we need to read through this because I'm not sure that was so so clear in what I saw. <laughs> yeah, that's, and I remember someone, not a member of this commission, uh, stating at the time, you think they have enough dock police in the state to go after <laughs> 450 lakes? So interestingly enough, we have one dock that I'm aware of on the lake that is permitted, just one. That's Laura's. Yeah, Laura's, yeah. And, you know, when, when Laura did it, she had to have someone do engineering plans on the dock, they had to do surveys, they had to do, and now they're calling, oh, we're going to simplify the process, and it's still got 10 steps. And I'm sure, I, so I'm, at it. I'm sure there's more fees. And Oh yeah. yeah, there's fees, and then there's, I don't know if there's an annual fee, but it's all, I don't know. Hmm. I'll take a look at that. Interestingly enough, it's, it resurfaces every so many years. We've got some bureaucrat that doesn't have enough to do. Right. <laughs> so Chris, but you're right, we at least should be aware of it and look at it. Yeah, see if it has any direct impact. Um, so that's from e EPA? Uh, yeah. DEP. 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 Yeah. DEP. Okay. Um, dates. Wednesday tends to work pretty well here. So Tuesday is a definite no no for meetings. Uh, in our in our example or our history here, Wednesdays has usually been available, and that leads. Oh, remind me, uh, this meeting is being recorded as as ours have been for a couple of years now, along with other so a few other boards in town. This is not broadcast live. It's put out uh, for a viewing on uh, you know, viewing pleasure. Or pain uh, on our local cable TV station. Some programs, I'm not sure what whether they what determines which ones they do. They also make available on YouTube. Uh, I know School of Many Select and some others are on that. Uh, so May 16th, does that work? But my 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 point just for the. For for whoever's watching tonight when they do this. Uh, they're having some changes in uh, staffing at local cable access uh, in Stowe, which records this. Uh, Ann Van Tyne, who is a uh, lady that comes down before our meetings, is retiring after many years of faithful service. Uh, so thank you, Ann, for all of your help. Uh, and there's going to be some new staffing issues. It's, it, it, there's minimal staff that is uh, paid for by the cable access fees uh, as a condition of, of uh, towns granting licenses. Uh, but most of the work is done by volunteers, as the most, a lot of work in, in, in town boards generally. Uh, and uh, they, I think Dave circulated a notice, uh, which I'll call to everybody's attention. If you would like to get involved with uh, community service, this is a good way to do it. Uh, they will train you on how to go up into the command central up there. There's cameras all over the place in here. They switch them around. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Um, and they uh, put together the programs. But they will train people on how to run the cameras. They're looking for volunteers to uh, record meetings, probably starting sometime in, in July. And, uh, because uh, as it stands now, they will not, <coughs> they do not have anyone dedicated to do that. And I think it's uh, so. 
If anyone's interested in that, get in touch with the Stowe Cable TV office on the third floor of this building. Or they can call the Selectman's office <coughs> and be referred. So, having said that, let me open my calendar. So I'm pretty sure the 16th is okay. I don't have my work calendar here. That's, but, uh, yeah. that's three weeks from tonight. Yeah, that would work. Um, and the town meetings will be cleared by then. We'll know what the status on that is. Yes. And we can proceed. And uh, you can get us a working yep. draft. <laughs> Yep. Cut paste, okay. you know, whatever. Yep. Say by the yep. by the ninth or tenth, so we'll have the previous weekend. Is that okay? Sixteenth? I think so. I, I'll, I'll check. Okay, in the morning. Sub subject to checking. Yep. If there's yep. a problem, I'll just I'll, check at work to know. make sure I don't have any anything. And seven thirty work for everybody looks through. Yep. Yep. Okay. That was our traditional time. I'm gonna lie. For a while we come to seven o'clock, but sometimes that's a bit of a rush. Yeah, see what, well, yeah, some people needed the earlier meeting. Yeah. Secretary is a little easier. Okay. Uh, anything else? No. Yeah. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. Uh, seconded. Motion made and seconded to adjourn at seven eight thirty-three. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you.